Okay, 53 review is like the sparse data. So I don't want to copy the chart. <laughs> I am going to shorthand this. I guess I have to borrow our book. Okay, you guys. Shh. I'm recording this. This is about all I have for recording. But 53, it, there's a chart here. So you need to know how to find the derivative of this. This is very typical AP. What's the derivative of x? It's f prime of x. Now, 2g, can I throw the two away? No. It's 2 times g prime of x. And we're going to do this at x equals 3. Can I put the 3 in first, or do I have to differentiate first, Declan? Differentiate. differentiate. And by the way, what does it mean to do your homework? It's not just to sit down and do this, but you need to go through and check. If you check in the back of the book, you're in trouble, because they don't give you how to do the problem. They're okay. Online. Yes, they're all, I don't know if these are. Okay, f prime of 3 is 9, I think. Yes. g prime of 3 is 9. Is that right? Yeah, they're both 9. So it's 9 plus 18, which is 27. Let me see if there's one in particular here that's hard. Oh, B is hard. You can't do C or D. I hope she didn't assign C or D. You can't do them. That means it's hers and fix the problem. So 53B we can do, though. And this looks like sparse data. I don't know if you remember that we struggled with this. I'm not going to be able to finish it, but I can get it set. No, I won't finish it. Okay, you guys? Riley? Brian? How do I do that? It's g of x times Stephen. It's times the derivative of that numerator. Okay, guys, I need it quiet. So it's x times the derivative of f plus f of x times the derivative of x. It's the product rule. So we have the product rule inside the quotient rule minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over g of x squared. Some of you want to cancel the g of x is the g of x, you can't. Okay, Noah, do you know how to do this? Then you need to pay attention. I have to, to do the derivative of this numerator, I must use the product rule. I can't do x prime times f prime. Okay? Okay, guys? You guys are usually better than this, but... So it's g of 1, guys, f prime of 1, plus f of 1, minus 1 times f of 1, g prime of 1. Can you read these out of the chart? That's not an issue, is it? Yes, no? Is that an issue, Declan? James? Jack? Can you read the numbers out of the chart, okay? I mean, if that's what the problem is, I need to know. I don't think that's enough. You need to make sure you know everything in 3, 1 through 3, 6. And one way to do it is to go over the problems we do in class <laughs> and then look at some homework problems. It might take you a couple hours to study tonight. <laughs> Or longer. Okay, shh, you guys, I can't hear. What? And she's sitting right here. Because it's the derivative of x. It's the product rule. It's x times this derivative plus f of x, and that's the derivative of x with respect to x. Now, which is 1. Hey, I'm here tomorrow morning. I'll be here at least for a little while after school.